Okay, we're at 3961 Lake Joyce. It's, it's actually a nice lot. Um, spacious from your neighbors. Uh, across the street, you can see there's uh, water or a pond. Really nice that, there. Um, I took a quick peek through some of the house. It definitely needs work, way more than the others. Um, so we'll do a video walkthrough and I'll point out some of the stuff I see. It's a bank owned property. Sometimes the bank owns, they rip out the stuff that's completely damaged, such as carpet and flooring and stuff. So I think that's what they did here. You can see that it's actually just concrete. This probably had atrocious flooring. Um, it does have a lot of light. Just figuring out the rooms. This is probably a, a little, probably a mid, but could be a sitting area, could be just a living room. This is probably your dining room here, dictated by the light. I do see a lot of dirt here. First thing I think is maybe it's termites. I don't know. A lot of dirt there coming from this there. Um, I walked in this room and I see uh, mold up against the wall. So it does have a bit of a, a smell. Um, you can see the hole in the ceiling. So, and then you see more uh, dirt and stuff here. So, quite a couple question marks as far as whether there's any termite issue. Condition of the mold, right? There's more mold. Um, also, this was your kitchen. Completely gutted. I don't know if they took it, like, because it was nice, or it was in such horrible shape they decided just to rip it out and sell it as is. So it's all plumbed, ready to go. But yeah, no kitchen. That's your stove right there. There's your sink to the back. Looks like an island maybe, right here. So, you're missing that. Laundry room. It's an old AC, old water heater. Um, I have not been upstairs yet or in the garage, so this is as we go. Let's see this together. Is that maybe mold? Mm. Definitely some, some fungus and stuff going on there on the ceiling. I love the two cars or the two bays and how it's wide like that. I think that's really cool. Huge ceil uh, garage. I mean, as far as tall vehicles. Well, I guess you could only go as tall as that, right? But still, has a pretty cool look and feel to it. Nice backyard. There's two really old AC units. Wow, look how dark that is. Needs a good pressure washing. These things look really old. So I would factor in uh, two AC units. I love all the glass. Nice neighborhood. I mean, nice as, as far as quiet space. You do have uh, a shed, you know, somewhat of an eyesore in the back. You can always put up a PVC. It's not horrible. You do have a pool neighbor right here. You have this tree kind of hangs over the roof. So that's going to age your roof if you don't cut it back. Um, you can always do that. These big things sticking out, I don't know if that was part of a lanai. That maybe was so dilapidated they took it down. Still haven't been upstairs, but we'll take a peek at the upstairs. So, you see the water off in the distance. Like I said, it's, that's, that's really nice, but... But the house needs some, some work, for sure. New flooring, new kitchen, any type of mold um, correction, which if it does have mold or if it's an active mold, it could be a couple thousand bucks to do that.
Could be an impressive house, but didn't have issues. Um, I kind of like this stairway. Sorry, I had it zoomed in. So, we have a half bath downstairs. So as far as rooms, uh, you have the half bath downstairs. This right here doesn't have a, a closet. It's very small. I guess you can call it an office to the back. A formal dining room, living room, kitchen. I guess that would be your most practical layout. I'm gonna go check out the upstairs. I love all this glass here. Really nice. I don't see any ceiling issues. You have a scrape right there. Okay, now we're upstairs. Let's see if we can figure out the floor plan. This is your master. Has its own private bathroom. <laughs> it says, do not open. You know what this, those columns were? This was an, a balcony, an upstairs balcony. That's what that was. So it must have been so dilapidated they got rid of it. And now, of course, if you open it, you can fall right out. So that's what that was. They do let a lot of light into the house. So I thought it's pretty nice. Closet. Tub. Shower. Tile work still looks... This, uh, it looks okay. I mean, wouldn't be the first thing. Just some, some paint and stuff. Maybe update the, the tub, but update the counters maybe. No, light fixture's gone. Needs some money, no question. Out of the three, it's by, by far the one that's in the roughest shape. Um, you can see some staining there. Probably from water. Well, definitely from water. I don't know if it's a roof leak or if it's if something that's coming off of uh, that window. You can actually see that window is cracked. So, there's no blinds. You have really tall ceilings with lights, glass, uh, the skylights coming through. It's really cool. Two, two AC units, we saw the one in the kitchen, and then this one, as far as the air handling. Of course, you saw the u two units outside. Here's a bedroom, has a closet. Um, no ceiling damage. I know I'm not showing you every last angle, but I am looking, so everything is, is, is fine. Okay, we're now to the end of the house. That's what patio is down there. So all the blinds are gone. I just see a little bit of a staining right there. And then you have a, a full bathroom here. So we saw the master had a bath. This one has a full bath. And then you have a half bath at the bottom of the stairs. And then you have what, two bedrooms here, th three bedrooms upstairs, and then and an office down. So, well, this is the nice part of it. This is all this glass and the view. You can't quite capture the water because of the, the homes there, or else it would be really nice. So. If it was a house you really like, I could look at the comps and, but just at a glance, let's just say you got to put 10 into the ACs and 10 into the roof. And then, you know, who knows if it does have any termites with the dart and if the mold's going to cost you money, you got to do a whole new kitchen. You know, I can see you spending 50 grand to get this house up to snuff. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit of work. The whole decking upstairs has to be put back on. And then the last thing, we saw this from up above, a little slab here. So it's another way out to the backyard. It's a cute floor plan. It's just, it's 
speed up. Needs, needs work. And then it's a very quiet road. Not one car has gone by since we've been here about 15 to 20 minutes. And you have a little bit of elbow room from your neighbors, which is not common. All right, this completes my uh, last video.